They say that folk music is the music of the people, and different people sure approach folk music differently. Here in the University of California's Lowell Plaza, we sure have an assortment. How do you describe this style of music? It's kind of strange. Don't you think? It's like asking how do you describe your fingernails. They're there. What kind of music is this? What kind of music is this, Tony? That's strange. That's strange, strange music. Yeah. Is it crossing folk music and uh rock music and a little bit of everything? Folk music, all sorts of strange. Music. Mostly folk music. It's 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 weird. That's it's weird. weird. Yes. Right. Sam Hinton, you have some uh, pretty unorthodox instruments here. Could you demonstrate one or two of them for us? Oh, I'm afraid they're all pretty darn orthodox. There's nothing very unusual here. Uh, the jaw harp is one of the world's oldest instruments. I think people have been using this, carrying it in their pockets since long before pockets were invented. It's real, real orthodox. It's why they call it the Jews harp, I think. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's a silly little nose flute. This is the sort of thing you see advertised in the back pages of Popular Mechanics. It's what does not... it sound like? <laughs> well, I can't say. <laughs> What kind of music is this? Scott's traditional balladry. Um, songs that I didn't learn at my mother's knee, mostly learned from books, but got very deeply interested in them when about ten years ago when the folk song revival really started. Suddenly found that I could sing them and appreciate them despite their antiquity. Uh, I'll just continue. I'll try and finish the song, okay? And up and spark the king's forester and the angry man was he saying a first bit. The Berkeley Folk Music Festival will continue through tomorrow. This is Ed Arno for Eyewitness News at the University of California.